Are you feeling beat down? Did you fail the exam? Tough day, all that shit. Don't worry about this crap, okay? It is not a long-term problem. These are short-term problems. I had a guy today called me up and he goes, I spoke to him once or twice. I never really met with him. He's watched my channels, but he failed the exam. He failed the 66 for the second time. And Shab goes, you're gone. Second time you're out, no chances. And he's like, what do I do now? And the good thing is the silver lining, it wasn't the seven. Because if you failed the seven the second time and they boot you, it's very hard to take that again because you need to be sponsored. But I was like, he was like really down. And I go, wait, you can take the 66 on your own. He goes, what do you mean? I said, you can, you can sponsor yourself to take it. So you can take the 66, you fill out a U10. It's not even a U10 anymore. You go on the friend of the website and sponsor yourself. It costs you money. I said, now go back and take that. And he's like, wait, why don't I do that? And then what's gonna do, pass the 66. He has the SAE, the seven and the 66. And now he's gonna reapply. I told him even when he gets close, start reapplying to Schwab, maybe even to Fidelity, to um, JP Morgan, to Morgan Stanley, Vanguard, all these companies are hiring and paying. So if you get the 66 out of the way, what happens? You're, you're not a risk anymore. You're licensed. You can walk right into the job and start working. They don't have to take a risk on you. There are exit strategies for everything. Remember that there's always something, there's always something else you can do. Like I have people say, oh, I failed the seven. What can I do? Well, I failed the seven for the third time. You gotta wait six months. If you didn't get fired, well, you gotta wait. Don't, don't waste it all. Maybe maybe take the 65 or the 66 or the 63. Maybe get your life and health. Maybe do something like that. Or if you have everything else and you just need the seven, if you have to wait six months, take two months off. Just take the summer off. Enjoy the summer. It's beautiful weather, right? All this shit, right? Dogs running around chasing rabbits. They're over there doing stuff that you don't want to see on camera. All this stuff. Just enjoy the summer because you can't do six months. Um, everyone goes, oh, just keep studying for six months. You're going to burn out don't do that what do we want to do what do we want to do we want to pass yeah when do we want it now okay so what we're going to do is going to take the summer off relax don't do anything have a good time date guys date girls do whatever get in trouble whatever don't get arrested but get in trouble have a good time really go crazy get it out of your system because i'm going to ruin your life come the fall when you're about three months out then you start reading read the book straight through one time then read it again straight through one time you have all this time then start doing questions maybe change a vendor but six months goes really fast especially if you spend the first two months drunk off your ass, blackout drunk it's really going to go fast so that's what i want you to do don't give up this is whole rambling shit is so you don't give up on anything never give up you don't give up until you're pushing up roses, until they, whatever they say, peel that out of your dead cold hands. Until you're pushing up Davies and you're six feet under, that's when you give up. No giving up. I didn't. Trust me, I've hit lows. In 2008, I hit such lows. I mean, I had four kids. I was, my, the entire industry shut down. The New York Stock Exchange went from like 5,000 people to like 500. I didn't know what I was doing. I took a job for like 25 grand a year. I was making a lot more than that. Oh, and I did, I started teaching. I started doing other things to change my life around. One day I'll do a thing on what happened, but I am telling you right now, never give up because no matter what happens right now, it's not the end of the world. Oh, good idea for a podcast.